It's up raining, my arse will rot off. That's it, Roach. White wolf, wise wolf, what is it the wolf needs? Got the botchling's blood. Know what to do? How to find Anna and Tamara? Blood, blood, blood. The Pella knows, knows the ritual, ritual to summon the spirits. The Pella will take the blood. Right. Let's see if these old rituals hold any sway in these foul times. You wish to go right away? Yeah, don't see any sense in waiting. So shall it be. The White Wolf must follow the pillar. The pillar will show the way. We got a long way to go. Nah, it's not far. Through the village, then the wood, and there we will be. This the Baron's land? Tis now. Twere not before. So who did it belong to? To the Lord. Serard, they called him. An evil man he were. Vile. Cared not a lick for common folk. You all get together and drive him away? When the Black Ones came, the Lord to the tower on Fike Isle fled. The invaders set the fields afire, and a great hunger descended on us all. While the Lord in abundance wallowed, there in the Tower of Mice. The old gods, in their ire, upon him visited us. Just give us a rest. Looks like rain. Elf Guardians hit you pretty hard. Folk are poor here. It's where the mighty concern themselves with the poor. The invaders will be fine. That's true. Sure. They're already there. How's that? The spirit screams their power and will devour them all. As the mice devoured the Lord's heart. What is this place? Shh. The Wolf and Clyde. Nice name. White Wolf should feel right at home. The White Wolf. Aye, good balance. For terrible things happened here of yore. To this day, none dare mention the name aloud. Here. The place. What now? Light the fires. All right. 
night. No reason to dawdle. Prepare and prepare well. Once the spirits appear, there'll be no recourse, no turning back. Nothing like a little encouragement. Light the fires. The Pella will treat that as his sign to begin. circle. By the powers of earth and sky, by the world that was to be your home, I, who have tasted your blood, summon you to guide me. Come, blood unborn. Come, blood spurned. Come, blood never named. Hear me upon the paths. Lead me along the trail of those bound to you by blood. Damn it. Supposed to keep the fires lit.
Mother's coming with me. I see your face, swollen, pulsing with blood. Blood! Dark upon a pale visage. The drop turns over bright gold. I am a fist of ice. I am dark in blood beneath a white nail. I am a tear of blood. Is lost. The blood summons me. Just a bit further, Mum. Hold on. Blood leaps her face. Thorny bow snag her. Stop her. I am a drop on a web. Will Voitek wait? Dark blood carries the question downriver. Why do you seek the child of Elder Blood? Nay is the time of the white frost and white light, the time of madness and disdain. The world shall perish amidst ice and be reborn of elder blood, of a planted seed. What can you possibly offer? was meant to say. Third vision seems most important. Mm, they were walking through the woods, both weak, but for different reasons. Yet both knew where they were going. Not sure I heard you right, but you mentioned a Voitek. Hope filled both their hearts at the thought of him. Mm. And the prophecy at the end? With Lean's words, you quoted them, and then asked me a question. Forgive the Pella. He knows not what you mean. Spirits, the spirits speak through the ritual, not he. Didn't fully understand what the second vision was about. Anna miscarried, blood everywhere. Suffering, the Pella felt it on her. She died her daughter's death. This Voitek from your vision, know him? Voitek, Voitek. Two Voitex have we near about. In Black Bell lives one. In his hut, there he stays, has for years. Gophers, with gophers he lives, they say. And he could remember a time when in these lands dwelled only elves. And the other? Somehow I doubt they went to a century-old rodent lover for help. A fisherman. A family he has lives in a secluded hut near the river's mouth. Time I was on my way. Thanks for your help. Refuse? Why, the Pella could never have refused. A man seeks to do good in life, but evil is unavoidable. The ones who encounter evil, why, 
They must be helped. Fare thee well, and may the gods bless and keep you. The room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. They call you Voitek. I, I. They do, kind sir. But I's not done a thing. Swear it on the lives of my young'uns. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure. Not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy! Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough, no point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with the Baron. Why? Cause, cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? were like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose, thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. Toward then, I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. What marks? These... well... Like burned on, with hot iron. On the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. They's hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Plowing hangover.
There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. I'll never know which blooms would please my second daughter most. Damn shame. She brought death down on others. The sooner you start thinking of it that way, the better off you'll be. Can't deny that. Doesn't make it any easier to live with, though. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? She all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again, no intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it is helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. That much I can do. I'm grateful. Take this, call it enticement, and this might prove useful. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Ciri. Like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. That lass of yours. Pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts. Where he's still among the living. Seri, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you're doing well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? At Kaer Morhen. Witcher school there, I. But they only took lads, as I recall. They made an exception for me. Right. Mean to say you're a she-witcher? Not entirely. The mutations, I was never subjected to them. But everything else I know, I learned from the witchers there. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because, you see, at times, I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. A woman could swing a sword. I've knowed one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. Well, that's an awfully gloomy face. Too much of a coward to race a woman. The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? 
done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. And we start at daybreak. Ready? As ever, first one to the tower. Man chop! Come on, Siri, don't you embarrass us! Want that horse, don't ya? Had one just like it. Wind, not woman. Worthy of the best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? Another chance to win. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were he to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss-poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry. I'll find Anna, too. So long. Witcher, when you find my daughter, will you give her this? A rag doll. Uh -huh. Move it. Went to the village for the levy. And that one, boy, oh, that's the last thing I'll take to find that sheep. Ever heard of preventive art? Fox on the love of you. Stinks in the god in cops.
Hey there. Faster. Move it. Come on. Gerard, fellow from the 
hills outside town. I see, eh? But she cheats to market. Of course I know. Good man. Always ask to man. Oh, I've had enough of you. In a hurry. Brother said I'd find her here. Voitex sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. for me and who might you be my father send you yeah to see if you're still alive and well I'm Geralt of Rivia I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well Geralt of Rivia better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine and now that you've seen me I bid you farewell wait we've nothing more to talk about got every right to be angry at your father but he's worried about you I have a right. Thank you kindly. So good to have the approval of his hired thug. And my father worries only about what to get soused on next. He's no saint, that's clear. But he's got the whole province on its feet looking for you. Finding you and your mother? Seems to me there's nothing more important to him now. I know evil men. He's not one of them. Shame he never showed such concern before, especially for my mother. He made a mistake and knows that. I'm not defending him, just saying that maybe he's come to realize what he's done and what you mean to him. Oh, wonderful. I'll bear that in mind. Did you really come all the way here just to tell me that? I don't mean to pry, but I know your mother had a miscarriage. His doing? He shoved her, she fell, that's how it started. We were alone, no one to help, blood everywhere. Worst night of my life. Sorry, must have been hard for you both. Mum was in shock, she was raving that it was better this way, that she never wanted the charge. Must have had a fever, she was losing blood the whole time. She didn't want the child? Said she'd sooner cut open her gut than bear another child from his seed. Voitek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands, and that a monster dragged her into the woods. That true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that... That thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Well, well. A witcher? Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. 
Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden, witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the Bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for Tamara, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a Witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. Where are you gonna take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the Eternal Fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Before you go, your father asked me to give you this. Clara? Father told you to give me Clara? Funny how he thought to buy me back with a memory. Tell him one gesture could never make up for a ruined childhood. So long, Witcher. In spite of all, I'm... Well, I'm grateful you gave me a choice. Didn't force me to go back to the tyrant. Hope you know what you're getting yourself into. So long, and good luck. Before. Long live rather of it. Honor of the father, lad. Faster.
go, go. Let's go! Faster. So fast, Roach. Guess it was profit. Let me order attack the bird since then. Stealing the goods of black. <laughs> mm. 
You, white one. Looked like you got soused last night, too. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Gave Tamara your gift. How'd she react? Probably not like you'd have wanted. She threw the doll away. Threw it away? Oh, gods, I hoped, despite all. Oh. Oh. Well, what of Anna? Still don't know anything specific, but I'm on her trail. Well, will you stand there like a knob? Find her! So long. Not so fast, Roach. Miss! The cows are wheezing. Won't rise from the barn floor. Pus streams from her snout. Do I look like a dairy maid to you? No, Miss, but you know things. Tis our last cow. None other left in the village. Rest died of hunger. Or soldiers let him off. As good as dead without her. I shall give you herbs. Mix them with water drawn from the spring at midnight, then make the cow drink them. But first, you must clean out your barn thoroughly. Is that clear? Thank you, miss. A thousand thanks. Enough. I've had my fill for the day. Go home. She's in a foul mood. We'd best come back on the morrow. Watch what you say. She's quick to iron, apt to take revenge. Special. Now, where she run off to? Hmm. Managed to amass quite a book collection. A pentagram in chalk. Aura. Must be some artifact or 